everyone and welcome back to Time to Cook, the cook-along show where we help you make something different and delicious every week. And this week we are back with Seb. Hey Seb. Hello. Hello. Thanks for having us back at your place. You're welcome. Looks like you've got another delicious dish to share with us. Um, but before we dive into that, just a few things about the channel and uh, the future and the plans really that I have. Um, I'm going to be taking a week off after this so that I can finally update all of the cook along videos that are currently on YouTube already with written methods. Um, so you won't have to watch the cook along video every time you want to make the dish, which can be a little bit tricky. So that will all be up by the end of next week. Um, I'm also gonna be working on kind of a slightly more sustainable format for the show, because frankly, I run out of friends. I run out of friends and they've run out of dishes to cook. So I'm gonna be coming up with ideas uh, as to how we can continue this going forward. And I would love your input if you have used any of the cook along videos please let me know what you liked about them or what you didn't like about them if you haven't used any yet maybe let me know why not what's been putting you off so far and what could maybe be changed um, so that would be really great you can get in touch um, via instagram or probably just let me know because most of you are my friends anyway um, so yeah we'll be starting up again a week after next with maybe a slightly tweaked format but back to this week what are you going to be making for us? So this is a Sicilian fennel and mm. sardine dish. Oh my goodness. This sounds like my absolute dream. There is fennel, there is fish, there is pasta, there are pine nuts. I'm very excited. So I found out about this when a friend of mine was traveling to Sicily and we were looking at what Sicilian food actually was and this popped up and um, I just looked at the list of ingredients and I thought that sounds crazy, but <laughs> potentially incredible. Yeah, so talk us through the ingredients because there are some unexpected elements on the table here. What are people going to need to get? Yeah, so it's all, you know, a mix of various sort of Mediterranean things. But um, the um, first of all, the pasta, if you can get your hands on it, uh, these are called bucatini. Uh, in Germany, they're sold as macaroni. Um, but um, if you can't find these, just replace them with spaghetti, it's fine. But bucatini are these kind of thick spaghetti that you might be able to see have a kind of hole in the middle. Mm. Um, we've got salt and pepper, obviously. Standard. Um, this is, um, I think, not traditional, but I like adding it. Chili flakes. Nice. Uh, and we've got, of course, fennel, which is An one of the main ingredients. Fennel. We've got a really beautiful one. And actually, if you can find this, this is better. Try and find a fennel that has lots of fronds, that's mm. got lots of these... Uh, little hairy bits. Because Is that because we're going to be using them? We're going to be using them as garnish. Oh, great. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, and I always like it when you don't have to throw away those extra bits of vegetables. Yeah, exactly. And they actually, I think it gets ignored, but it actually works really well as a garnish that you can use it just like you would use parsley or coriander. So there is flavor in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah oh, absolutely. Yeah. Never knew. Um, mm. We've got some bread. Uh, this is kind of old stale bread, which we're actually going to be using to make breadcrumbs. Um, so it's going to be topped off with fried breadcrumbs at the end. Oh, what? Yeah, Incredible. I know. Um, <laughs> you can just use breadcrumbs from the supermarket, sure, but yeah. you know, if you've got some old bread, and lying stale around, bread is actually better for breadcrumbs, isn't it? It's yeah. kind of easier to crumb it up, so to speak. Yeah, we've got some saffron. Can't even see it. The tiniest amount in a tiny the most little expensive thing in the world. Byron's saying hi. I don't know if you can see him in the background there, but he's been a bit of a diva, so we had to put him down. <laughs> <laughs> we've got, of course, sardines. A uh, couple of tins of sardines, if you can find them in olive oil, better. If you can only find them in sunflower oil, okay. Uh, and um, I've got a couple of small onions. You can maybe use half a large onion. Mm -hmm. Some raisins. Mm. Uh, How much of that are we using, roughly? About a handful or so. Have you ever actually had uh, kind of fried raisins where you sort of heat them up a little bit and they start to sort of pop? No. It really changes the flavor. <gasps> Blackened raisins, it really changes the flavor of it. Oh, wow. And uh, some pine nuts. Mm, my favorite, nut of all time. Um, How many pine nuts roughly? Again, about a handful? About or? a handful, yeah. Okay. We're going to be using some white wine. As if it couldn't get any better. And Pick a nice one so that you can drink the rest. Yeah, exactly. Nice. There's no point in buying wine that you're not going to drink. No. Um, you're only going to use a tiny bit of it. Mm -hmm. And the best olive oil you can find. This is actually from the sub, from the south of Spain. Um, a friend of a friend brought it over. Ooh, it's nice. from a small cooperative. It's gorgeous oh, olive lovely. oil. Um, but I am Mediterranean, so I, I prize olive oil. Uh, but it does make a difference. Yeah. And those are the ingredients. It's fairly simple. Yeah, it's a nice small list, but very exciting ingredients. Mm -hmm. At least, like, 
this is sort of did we talk about the anchovies actually i can't remember did I we can't talk remember. about the, if we did not. we're going to talk about them again <laughs> well yeah maybe use about three anchovies or so three yeah. of these and those are really just if you don't like anchovies don't worry about it um you're not using that many and and actually you're kind of throwing them in towards the beginning of the process and they really just sort of melt you don't even notice the anchovies they just give just it a give kind it of salt really. background depth of flavor yeah exactly. a fishy saltiness yeah incredible well we are going to get cooking now equipment wise i assume there's not much that no, goes into this really not really it's just, just pasta and a, a frying, frying pan, pan and a big pot to make a pasta incredible that's what we like all right guys well you'll have a few days as ever to get your ingredients and we'll hopefully see you wednesday for the cook along bye